Few things in our education system are more important than having a decent command of mathematics. To have a numerate workforce is paramount to the New Zealand economy. We need our students to understand mathematics if they want to have a chance to develop their skills in other subjects such as biology, chemistry, or if they just want to be financially literate in their later lives. This is why we think it's so important to get that right in our schools. Unfortunately, our schools are getting it wrong. Our report, written by Rose Patterson, shows what we have done wrong in mathematics teaching in New Zealand schools, and we also have some suggestions on how we could do better. A friend of mine came to me recently knowing that I did education research and explained that her daughter was really struggling with her maths at school. She said that she's learning multiple methods for solving maths problems and she's not using the traditional methods that we learned when we were at school. Our parents and our grandparents probably learned maths by rote learning the basic facts and by using traditional written methods. These days, children are learning multiple methods for solving maths problems. For example, consider the maths problem 6 times 9. There are multiple methods for working out the answer. One is that you can use your 10 times tables. So you go 6 times 10 is 60, and then you subtract one group of 6 from that to get 54. Or you can use patterns. You know that 6 times 9 has to be in the decade below 60, because 6 times 10 is 60, so the 10's digit is a 5, and to work out the 1's digit, you subtract the 5 from the 9, as in 9 times tables, and you get 54. Or you can use your 3 times tables, so you know that 6 times 3 is 18, and you multiply that by 3 again to get 54. It's very confusing. We think in the old days, children were probably bored with the way that they learned maths, but today we think they might be just confused. Imagine being a teacher with a class of 30 children and having to teach all of these different methods for solving maths problems. We think these new methods might be very demanding on teachers' time and very demanding on children's working memory as well. The Ministry of Education maintains that the facts and the simple written processes are as important as these new strategies. But there has been a lot of miscommunication and confusion about where the emphasis should lie in schools. There are some researchers who say that these new methods of teaching maths are better but we know that since these methods were introduced to New Zealand schools 15 years ago, maths results have been in decline. The New Zealand Initiative's research shows that there has been too much emphasis on learning multiple methods and not enough on just learning the basic facts and simple processes. This graph shows the percentage of teachers in New Zealand, compared with the top five performing countries in maths, who use different types of maths instruction in most classes. The top countries spend more time memorising rules, procedures and facts and less time explaining their answers compared to New Zealand. Our report shows that children in these East Asian countries aren't just regurgitating facts to get good grades but they are also better at solving novel maths problems. We're not suggesting that New Zealand throws the baby out with the bathwater. We don't want to go back to the days where children are just rote learning information without understanding the numbers and how they connect. But when it comes time to doing more complex maths, like algebra for example, having the basic facts learned off by heart can free up working memory so children can work on the more complex stuff. Imagine if you had to think through all the different strategies for the answer to 6 times 9, for example, for solving an algebra problem. All of the energy goes into thinking through those strategies rather than working on the more complex maths. The other problem is that many primary school teachers struggle with maths themselves. In 2010, a study showed that one third of new primary school teachers couldn't add two fractions together. That's nobody's fault. A lot of primary school teachers probably didn't have good maths teaching themselves when they were at primary school. Yet maths is one of those subjects where teacher proficiency in the actual subject is very important for student learning. We think that these new methods of maths teaching may require teachers to have an even greater understanding of maths themselves, 
Yet there are no objective ways of assessing whether teachers do have the requisite levels of understanding. So, what should we do about the maths problem? At the New Zealand Initiative, we have a couple of ideas. First, we think that EDUCANS, which is the new professional body for teachers, should develop a certificate of maths teaching proficiency. This certificate should not be mandated from above, it should be optional for teachers. Most teachers are really motivated to see their students succeed in school. But if they're not feeling confident in maths themselves, then gaining this certification is a way of developing the skills that they need to be able to teach maths well. And if parents think that it's important that teachers have good maths knowledge themselves, then they can choose schools where the teachers have their certification. And as for the way that maths is taught in schools these days, if you're confused or concerned, or you think the balance isn't quite right, then talk to your school. We have an information sheet for parents on our website here, which outlines what you can do as a parent to talk to your school about getting the balance between the old school facts and processes and the new school strategies right. It's really important that your child gets a solid grounding in maths at primary school because this will open up their pathways at secondary school and beyond. I'm Rose Patterson from the New Zealand Initiative. We hope this information has been useful for you and please do get in touch if you have any questions.